Hey guys, it's Joseph from Blackbox My Car. In this video, I want to try something different. I don't want to do any reviews on VO4 dash cams because there's way too many out there already. But what I want to do today is highlight some of the coolest community mods that I've seen out there for VO4 dash cams from you tech enthusiasts out there. Since its founding in 2010, VO4 has grown into one of the world's most trusted dash cam brands. It's because of their relentless effort on video quality and innovation. While other brands like Thinkware has focused on security and Blackview has focused on cloud, VO4 has been laser focused on delivering innovation at an affordable price. They were the first to integrate Sony Starvis 2 to integrate SSD capabilities into their latest VO4 A329 dash cam. You know, they're always ahead of the curve when it comes to tech. And let's not forget about those viral moments either. Just last year, a TikTok creator, Ashpia Natasha, captured an insurance fraud moment on her VO4 A129 Plus dual dash cam in New York. That video went viral overnight and got a couple million views in under 24 hours and significantly boosted sales for the model. It showed the silver Honda Civic in Queens attempting to stage an accident by cutting her off and then reversing right into the car. Then the passengers came out acting all confused before realizing she had a dash cam recording them the whole time. That's one way to get famous. And just last month, Todd from Project Farm, a YouTuber with over 3 million followers, conducted an unbiased in-depth analysis on all the most popular dash cams on the market today. Each dash cam was rigorously tested for performance and reading license plate, image clarity while in motion, and even their night vision capabilities. Todd produced a chart displaying the rankings for each dash cam, and at the end of the day, the VO4 A119 V3 came out on top. But you know, in my opinion, what makes VO4 special is its community. When a community is passionate enough to take the products into their own hands and do something cool with it because they love the brand that much, you know you have something special. And we see this all the time in the gaming world, especially, like how users have pushed the boundaries of Elder Scrolls Skyrim, Minecraft, GTA 5, and my favorite, Mortal Kombat. So today, I want to take the time to highlight some of the coolest community mods that I've come across. Some new, some old, some of them completely blew my mind because I didn't know something like that could have existed. Now let's start off with some creative mounting solutions. The most versatile dash cam to date is the VO4 VS1. It's small and portable, and that means it's a very easy dash cam for users to experiment different angles with. So this Taiwanese user came up with a very creative way to install the VO4 VS1 in their Mazda ND Miata, mounting it on top of the glove box to capture the rear driver's side angle. It's a clever setup to offer a unique perspective of the interior and side views. On top of that, he paired it with a VO4 A229 Plus for three-channel front, rear, and in-cabin coverage, creating an awesome multi-cam system. Cozy Kim, installed two separate VO4 VS1 dash cams in his Porsche 981 Boxster to achieve full front and rear video coverage. And this next one definitely gave us a good laugh. Our friends at Safe Drive Solutions mounted a VO4 A119 Mini 2 on a helmet to film a soapbox derby in Mission. Seeing the race from a helmet cam perspective was both hilarious and surprisingly effective for capturing all the action up close. It's such a fun and creative use of a dash cam. Who says they're just for cars? And lastly, if your windshield doesn't have enough space, you can always mount it vertically on your dashboard, just like how this user did. But if you thought these creative mounting solutions were cool, wait till you see what these tech geniuses did. They've taken things to the next level with custom firmware mods for VO4 dash cams. Just a quick heads up though, modifying your firmware could void your warranty or damage your dash cam, so proceed carefully. The VO4 community is packed with brilliant minds, especially groups like BC Hobbyist and DC Team. They've modded cameras like the A119, A19 Pro, A119S, and the A129 Dual, bringing impressive upgrades like better license plate clarity at a distance and reduced motion blur for smoother footage at high speeds. They've also taken it further, tweaking settings like contrast, sharpness, saturation, and even white balance so you can really tailor your dash cam's performance to your liking. With today's tech, I would love to see if we can extend these efforts to even the VO4 A329. Can you go beyond 4K at 60 frames per second? Now let's move on to, in my opinion, the coolest part of this video. Did you know VO4 dash cams aren't just for driving? They've actually been used in research projects like improving map accuracy with OpenStreetMap. Here's the story. 
So back in 2018, the pre-generative AI days, a user took footage from a vehicle A119 and geotagged video frames using the GPS data. They used OCR to read things like speed limit signs, bus stops, and business names, filling gaps in map data that satellite images usually miss. Now fast forward to today, the generative AI days. Imagine AI being able to analyze your footage and then spot like new hazards, new roads, new construction zones. Imagine these navigation apps adapting dynamically and making your travel smarter and safer. I mean, let's be honest, I'm sure Google is probably already working on something like this, but imagine one day we'll be able to predict things happening in the future, like Tom Cruise in Minority Report. Now, did you know that VO4 dash cams have been used in the forestry industry too? Researchers used the VO4 A129 Pro dual dash cam to create timber sag, a data set designed to automate log picking with AI, solving key challenges like spotting logs in messy environments, worker shortages, and overall safety. The dataset included 2,500 logs captured using dash cams on forestry machines in Quebec, showing logs in piles hidden by branches or overlapping. The footage was collected in all kinds of weather, rain, snow, and sunlight to reflect real-world conditions. AI trained with TimberSeg can detect logs in seconds. This reduces the need for workers in hazardous areas and simplifies training during labor shortages. It's pretty amazing how VO4 dash cams are helping make forestry safer, faster, and more efficient. Just another example of how tech reshaping industries in unexpected ways. Last but not least, for all you DIYers out there, the VO4 community has also created some incredible 3D mods. Beyond just mounting solutions, these mods add completely new ways to further improve your dash cam setup. One user designed a tamper-proof guard for their VO4 A139 Pro to protect cables from damage or tampering. Simple yet brilliant. Others have printed 3D printed lens hoods to reduce glare, clip-on cable organizers to keep things tidy, and even unique mounts for better placement in hard-to-reach areas. With access to a 3D printer, you can start customizing right away, adding anything from extra protection to enhanced usability. As we're here to celebrate VFO's journey over the last 15 years, honestly, we can't wait to see what else VFO has in store for us. We've covered a lot today, and it's exciting to see where VFO is gonna go next. And speaking of which, their latest release, the VFO A329 series, was the first dash cam to bring 4K Ultra HD at 60 frames per second, as well as support for up to four terabyte SSD storage and Wi-Fi 6 connectivity. Again, a first for dash cam tech. And now there's also talks of them announcing the next update with the VFO A329 S series, which will include a series of models for different applications, including the standard A329 S, the A329 SW, and the A329 T. Whether it's for everyday moments or critical evidence, these models continue to deliver, and we'll be here to cover them all on the Black Box My Car channel. Support us by hitting that thumbs up and subscribing to this channel. And if you have any questions, drop them in the comments below. Thanks for joining us today. And as always, thank you for watching. We'll see you in the next one.